What is up, my friends? And yeah, Warner Brothers is just like, you know what? Flash movie, pushing it. But y'all want it. Y'all got it. Some pretty inverted, fucked up time shit that's just going to leave you leaving the theater like, what the fuck just happened? Christopher Nolan, at best, always does this as he is one to very much so manipulate audiences throughout the film into thinking something and then by the end of it, give you something else and just pretty much saying like, all right, go outside, get the next showing ticket, come back down, sit down with what you know and decipher this because that's exactly how I go with any Christopher Nolan movie. You got to watch it at least three times before you get to any conclusive ending and Inception, we're still talking about that. I made a video this year talking about that because 10 years and we're still wondering, was it a dream? If you know the song, kudos to you. Anyways, this film is the one that has just been pushed. And then Christopher Nolan was like, we ain't pushing it no more. We're releasing that right now because this is going to be on in theaters. And it is pretty much the big blockbuster that opened the theaters. We ain't talking about that girl right now. We ain't talking about them right now. We've talked about them so many times. You can go watch those videos on New Mutants if you want. But this is the big blockbuster that is going to pave the way for the theater experience again. And so everybody hopes, right? Especially AMC and Cinemark. I know they're shaking in their boots, waiting to see what's going to happen. And it looks like international box office being a lead indicator. I think the theaters is going to be all right. But let's just get right into this. So pretty much this deals with time inversion where you pretty much can go back and forwards in time. And if you go backwards, you are breathing carbon dioxide, which is no bueno. So you have to wear those oxygen masks we see. And what happens is we meet the protagonist during the beginning of the film in an operation in an opera house that goes horribly wrong. He is then saved by a man with a red string coming out of his backpack and then he is brought into a secret organization in order to stop a man named Sator from acquiring the algorithm which can actually destroy the world if it is used wrong. So the reason that they want to do this is because they want to uh, change climate change change climate change makes sense right so that's the reason behind all the science and everything of course what can end up happening is the universe itself can pretty much eat itself up if it just keeps going backwards because big bangs it was a bang and then what's the opposite of a bang you go inside and i don't know where you go a vacuum maybe who knows anyways Sator is one that wants to acquire this algorithm even though it's been split into nine pieces he is adamant in getting this because he has terminal pancreatic cancer and he says if I'm going y'all all coming with me so yeah that, that's pretty much who this guy is right here and so he is going to find all of these nine pieces even if they were scattered in the past so no one would be able to attain them Sator is like I don't give a damn and he actually ends up acquiring all of it and he has pretty much implemented a kill switch once he is gone that kill switch goes off algorithm goes into effect and everybody says goodbye that's pretty much his plan right there his wife cat is actually trying to get a like sense of all of this she and him have had a sour relationship after her she found out he was cheating after she saw a woman on his boat jump into the sea and all this and she's pretty much like I ain't having it and so what they end up doing is the organization along with the protagonist and cat all decide to stop this from happening they go through some time shit that you're pretty much gonna be watching and you're not gonna get the whole time until the movie's over and then you're probably gonna go on and find a video like this one and you're gonna try and get an answer to all of this and I'm probably gonna explain it in the most shitty way you're gonna go to another video probably but I tried my best, and here we are. Are we ever going to get the full explanation? Probably get it in a couple of years from Nolan himself, but here we are. Anyways, they pretty much are trying to get this algorithm and stop Sator from doing any of this. What ends up happening is that the protagonist discovers where it is, and it's blocked by a door, and then a corpse that is there that we see in the beginning reanimates, and then he sees it's the same one with the red string on the backpack that had saved him from the beginning of the film. Cat also realizes that it wasn't actually Sator cheating on her, but the woman that she saw jump off of his ship was actually her in this present time right now that she went back into after killing Sator, and this is pretty much like eye-opening.
And so pretty much they are able to acquire the algorithm and then they split it into three parts. And the protagonist, Ives and Neil, take one each. And Neil then reveals he is actually from the future and was the one with the red string. And he has actually been protecting and helping the protagonist. And he's known the protagonist for years as well. The protagonist is also pretty much the one behind Tenet as he learns later down in the future. That, And as we know, Neil's fate is already sealed as we saw his corpse already when they were retrieving the algorithm. So what we pretty much saw was the ending of their relationship as Neil is already dead. But the protagonist still has to have that beginning of the relationship as well as the many years that are there. I thought that that was a pretty interesting way to develop all of that. In the end, the protagonist also saves Cat from being killed as he realizes he is actually the mastermind behind Tenet and he watches her and her son go. Now, that's pretty much the ending right there. So we saw time be warped all over the place. And I thought that the biggest twist, I guess, is Neil being the one that's been there for the protagonist from the beginning in the past, and he will be there for him in the future as well. Neil was there the whole time, and we saw his demise as well. And I thought that was a pretty cool way to wrap all of that up. Now, there are theories out there circulating about Neil actually being the son of Cat, and that actually makes sense. After a second viewing of this movie, I will try to make a video talking more about that, hopefully this week. And we'll talk more about time inversion and all of that as well. So... What are your thoughts on Tenet's ending? Are you satisfied with the movie? Was it too confusing? And is it one that holds up to Christopher Nolan's films? My opinion, Inception is still number one, followed by Memento. And I think Tenet would be right there after that. I was very much so more on the hype level than anything. But I do believe that Christopher Nolan has had better movies. But overall, I thought it's an interesting premise as well. And I would love to see more of this world maybe in the future. But knowing Christopher Nolan, I don't think we're getting that. He likes to move on to other things. And I'm okay with that. I'm happy. Let me know your thoughts below on the ending as well. I am very much so interested in knowing your opinion about it all as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. On the road to 20,000 subscribers, we will have a video on Neil actually being the son of Cat in the two days maybe two days from now so look forward to that check out my videos on new mutants as well as lovecraft country and i'll see all of you next time as always don't forget to like comment share follow me on twitter at nerdround nerdround.com is my website anchor down below as well for audio format of all of these videos and that's gonna do it for me i'll see all of you next time stay safe stay positive hey if you're still listening, why don't you check out one of the videos on the left. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share. Turn on the bell for notifications. As always, stay positive.